Okay, guys and gals, we're down at the fur shop. I want to show you my otter. I thought I had uh, made a video on that first otter that I cleaned, but uh, I got to looking. Evidently, if I made it, I deleted it and didn't didn't load it up. But uh, I wanted to show you what we got here. This otter was, like I said, uh, 45 inches from the end of his nose there to the tip of his tail. And uh, on, these, on these otters, the biggest difference about the otters, it boards up just like it, just like it would a, a coon hide or any other hide that you're going to put on. Uh, it boards up the same way. The biggest difference is in the tail. As you can see, when you when you skin this tail down, and I got got down to right there, and it was kind of freezer burnt a little bit, so I just left that. It it'll melt out pretty good. If not, then I'll I'll clean it up when I uh, with my other knife. But anyway, as you can see, the tail is a little bit different because they use they use the fur off of these tails. I keep calling it a beaver tail, but it's it's an otter tail. And uh, I put just a little bit of borax on the side right there. Don't want to put much on that. If you're going to send it off to the fur house, and I'm undecided where I want to try to try to send a little bit off or, or just uh, uh, tan my own hides, which I've been doing. I've caught 30, I think it was, I think I counted 31, 31 coons. I got all them up there. There's my other, uh, other otter. I got him here. I think that one was 40, 44 inches from nose to tail. But uh, the biggest part, biggest thing you want to do on these otters, uh, or the back feet, when you when you skin your back feet down, you want to pull them to the back right here by, uh, beside the tail. That's the only difference. Uh, as you can see on these coons, you pull the back legs around around to the belly side. But on the otter, you want to pull pull your back feet around to the uh, tail side. And then on this side, once you pull your feet around, then you cut your cut your little window out here, and you got part of the leg, not much, but part of the leg on this side. And down here, the first one on these front legs, I went ahead and uh, sewed them around and pulled that tight. Let's see if I can show you here on this one. There's the front legs and uh, I sewed those and pulled them tight. Of course, they opened up a little bit when they dried. These things dry tight. But on this one, I've got a uh, stapler over there. And uh, what I did, I just stapled these, and they'll dry down tight. Uh, so just wanted to show you that. Let's see if I can back up here just a little bit. Can't get it all in the, all in my, of course, I could turn my phone the other way, but I guess could probably get it but uh it kind of messes up when you turn your phone around like that but anyway the uh there he is that was a big old booger <laughs> I think I wound up with uh 30 I think I said 31 coons and uh Caught, uh, I think it was 20 beavers so far. I still got got the end of the fam end of February to go, so we'll probably be catching some more more coons and stuff. I'm I'm thinking about setting uh, caught three three coyotes too, and I'm I'm thinking about setting another coyote trap or two. See if I can catch it, uh, one or two more before season goes out. Of course, the season don't go out on coyotes here in Georgia. You can trap them uh, year round, coyotes and beavers. So uh, I think I'm gonna try to 
try to set another trap or two see if I can catch another one. All right. This old Woody, we kicking out for another day. If you like our videos, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share it with your buddies. If you don't like them, send us a comment anyway. <laughs> All right, we kicking out. We'll see you later.